We bought Ollie over the weekend and we're within two months of having a baby. So just kind of wanted them to grow up together. Thank you. When we had the opportunity, we couldn't pass it up. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. So tell me what the story is. So we didn't realize till we got him like part of the way home that he's pretty scrawny for a puppy. Like puppies are supposed to be nice and yeah. chunky and you can feel all the little Chunky bones. is the word. He is a little bit on the skinny side uh, for what I would like for a young pup. Once we got him home, we kind of noticed that he was walking a little bit funny, uh, that he wasn't eating very well. And I'm just really hoping that he's not terribly sick with anything. As I was watching him walk around, he, his um, hind legs have a, a kind of deformity a little bit, and he does have some delayed reflexes back here. He almost like crosses his legs over in the when he's walking too. And has he been able to eat anything since I mean, you've gotten he eats, him? I mean, he has trouble eating hard food. Like I, I'll give him soft food and he'll eat it pretty good. But okay. when I try to give him hard food, even if you add like water to it, he'll just kind of like chew it around and then spit it back out. Okay. The odd thing, I'm not sure if this is just because he is kind of he's cozy. underweight or if his conformation is a little odd. Like, he stands with his knees, like, flexed out. Yeah. Maybe Oli wasn't getting the appropriate nutrition when he was really little. Like, he'll take up a couple pieces. Most of them will fall out. I have the dewormer, so we can kind of see how he handles that. Well, so he, he is definitely able yeah. to do it. So you're just messing around with us or something. <laughs> Maybe I would try then mixing in, if he's eating the soft food, mix that in with the hard stuff so he maybe can't pick out the hard pieces. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping now that Nikaeli is in charge of his care, Oli is going to have a, a steadier plan of nutrition, get a really good diet, and uh, hopefully get back on track. His legs like that, if he doesn't grow out of it, is that going to be It like might a not. Problem? I mean, it's hard to say right now. The thing that concerns me a little bit is that when I flipped his paw over, he's kind of slow to, to put it back. And sometimes puppies just haven't really learned that, like, he doesn't, maybe he noticed his paw was in the wrong spot, but he just didn't care. So it's really hard to test a lot of reflexes. And it's just like testing reflexes in little babies. Like, there's only. <laughs> just getting it. Still working on it, huh? You're getting there. I'll get those vitamins for you. OK. We've done everything we can do for now, and hopefully we can get him nice and chonky like puppies should be. <laughs> Come here. And hopefully his legs will follow. 